this sweet November, the Whitetail Hunters Month. Hope you find the time to get out there and chase a big old gnarly buck. Our property here seems to have dried up. I don't know what the heck is going on. I've never seen it this slow on this property since we owned it. We bought it in 2019. And this is probably the worst year ever. I don't know if it's EHD, the lack of food, or acorns, or all of it wrapped up into one. We don't have rubs and scrapes, or we typically have rubs and scrapes. Uh, actually, you know, on the day of bow season, it was like 92 degrees. Austin was in here grilling wheat, dry, and oats. What never rained for a month. We just got rain last week, about three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch. Anyways, all that stuff's popping, it's up about two inches. But the thing is, our neighbor to the west, he's never had a, a, a winter crop in. Well, he planted 138 acres of wheat himself, so I know a lot of deer are probably headed to the west instead of heading into our property. And then it could be acorns as well. We have a chunk of six to 700 acres of timber that goes off our south and our west corner here. So that could be playing a great big role in it too since we don't have the food or didn't have early season food like we typically do. You know, we're lucky to see six to 10 deer of a day when in other years you could see 20 to 40. And I know 40 is a that would be in one plot 300 yards away there'd be 20 in another one so i don't know what the heck was going on but uh, anyways i hope y'all are having better luck uh, in sweet november than we are today is actually november the 6th and uh, yeah pumpkin fest 2023 is just five days away and we're yet to punch a buck tag austin or eyes get out there chase sweet november everybody it's more than just dirt, it's a lifestyle. When you're ready, I'll be right here.